Hello Libra, so this is going to be a reading for September 2020, okay? Please keep in mind this is a general reading, it will not resonate with everyone and that's okay. So what we're going to be looking at is what's being hidden from you, what's being shown, why you have attracted this, and your next move. So this is for Libra in any placement within your natal chart as well. So this message could be <clears throat> for the viewer as well. If you are a cross watcher, you're more than welcome. So this is what's being hidden, what's being shown, why you have attracted this. I feel like two wanted to come out here. Okay, let's see. We have working too hard. Boy, she looks mean, okay? What's being hidden from you? It's like... Let me see. For some of you, you're needing to pull back from work um, and just relax is what I'm hearing. Yeah, it's time for a break from all this mechanical work. So if you're a mechanic, maybe it is that you work on or tinker with different electronic devices or your mind is just all caught up into something that, you know, you can't fix. And you feel like you can't fix it. You're like, oh my gosh, why can't I fix this? Why can't I fix this problem? I always fix it. Okay. You could be a professional at, at this. Now this could be even... Um, I'm going to clarify this as well, but this could be work-related, relationship-related, however it may be. Um, this angel of time is saying that, you know, for some of you, you could be working on clocks, working on time, working on needing to spend time with yourself. And a lot of you are definitely scared to death to do this, okay? And why, and why is that, you know, why is that you have the fairy of the highlands? Because this is something, you know, um, you're not used to. It, you know, this is your everyday life, your everyday hustle and bustle. Uh, work, 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 work. And what's being shown to you is it's time to be brave. It's time to gain more control, gain some clarity here. Um, she holds the sword of truth as well. So, look at it. Yeah, it's a time to speak your truth, okay? It's like, what's being shown to you is that you've been working, working, working. Now there's like... You've been working on something for somebody, supposedly. And it's almost like, Libra, it's almost like you've always known this to not work out, so to say, or that, you know, you are going to have to... It's not a quick fix, is what I'm hearing. This is not a quick fix. You know what to do. You know how to do it. Stop letting people tell you what to do and use your own um, judgment as well don't be i feel like these people it's almost like you need to block these people out and i feel like you have for some of you you are having to wear like this mask to mask this energy um, that is being reflected back 
on you and I don't feel like it's your energy I feel like it's someone it's the uh, your surrounding you know it's like they expect you to um, fix you know like miss miss mr. fix it like in a day it's like is it there is it good? like you know um, everybody wants it now 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 okay they want the information now Maybe it is that you have to do some research or, you know, there's something here that is definitely chaos, okay? And you're the calm, you're calming the chaos, but first you need to calm it within yourself because you know exactly what you're doing. And you also need to count your blessings here with the ghost of the pumpkin patch because with this card, um... Yeah, it's saying there's something very precious about you, about this whole situation. And it's like, it's become so masked. Like, it's almost like Libra. It's like, you know, it's like your reality. It's like, okay, it's supposed to be here. You know, it's supposed to be like this. Well, no, it's not supposed to be like that. And you know it. You know it's not supposed to be like that. So glamour and intrigue and drama is... Um, basically... Let's see. It's the gossip. It's the people around you. It's how people are gossiping. And, you know, um, maybe they're talking about your work. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, good news, bad news travels faster the good news than good news is also something like that. So there's a lot of drama. There's a lot of people talking. Um, there could be false people, false friends. Um, just, and you can, you've been shading this for so long, okay? You've been putting this away, and that's that fog right there. The fog that sits, you see the fog behind her? Um, this, she's ready for you to take action. You have more material wealth than what you think you do, so please do count your blessings every day and give gratitude, okay? I'm going to clarify this because I do feel like, Libra, with these energies, it's like you've been working, 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 and it's time to be brave, calm the chaos, count your blessings, and trade in drama. And that's people talking. People talking about your work, you're kind of like worried about it. What will they say? What will they do? Or, you know, you might be fired or, you know, you might have lost your job, but you know where to go. You've done this before. Can we clarify working too hard, spirit guides? Okay, so this is a time for, yeah, so the Queen of Pentacles. And I feel like this is your energy right here. This is mothering everyone else, giving everyone else what they need instead of giving what you need. And you are definitely feeling trapped within this connection with the Eight of Swords. You're trapped in your mind, you know. It's like all these people are trying to get to the top, trying to get to that flame. And it's chaos you know are you working too hard at it you know yes there is heartache and pain here but i do feel like this is you know very disturbing for most of you and this is basically what's being hidden from you 
is that, you know, this is not you. There's a there there's competition, there's chaos, it's causing heartache. It could be a third party situation that you're stuck in right here. And you're working and you're trying to make things right, okay? But you know, okay, it's time to be brave. It's like you already know what exactly what you want with the Nine of Cups. Your wishes, your dreams, your desires. What do you want? It's time for you. And a lot of you Libras out there, you know, um, you've been given this chance to really proclaim your throne, you know, like this is where I sit. This is my destiny. This is what I want. With the Nine of Cups here and the Page of Pentacles, something is being offered to you, okay? And it's, wow. So we have the Nine of Swords here. So this is about needing rest, needing to pull back. You're almost done. You're almost finished. You don't have to worry anymore. There's a sense of being um, just within the mindset way too much. You could be dealing with an air sign. Um, but I'm also seeing like, okay, clarity, understanding, you know, and I feel like you do have that understanding. You do have that knowledge and that's what's being presented to you. Okay. And it's like, you don't want it. I feel like you don't want this understanding. You don't want this knowledge um, with calming the storm because basically you are, um, Libra, this is Queen of Cups. You're very intuitive. You are very on top of your game. You know how to calm the chaos within the storm, okay? You know how to contain your emotions. Um, with all these emotions being brought up, going through this tower moment that is basically very disturbing within your mindset but not only that it's the people around you you know and it's been there for some time okay you've learned to dealt with it you've learned to tune it out and you know spirit is saying that um you have basically you are look at this the queen of wands with the queen of um Queen of Cups and the Star card, this is healing beyond all powers. Having hope, having faith, knowing that you are the manifester and the um, magician within your life. And you receive energy as you give it, okay? I do feel like you're coming out of this stage because we have an eight to a nine. You're coming out of this mental conflict. Yes, you do seem what afraid and scared, but what's helping you here, um, it's like why you have attracted this because you have the power within your hands. Did you know that? You have the power within your hands. You have attracted all this, okay? I feel like someone is offering you something or could have been offering you something within the situation, but you haven't got it yet. And you're like, what the hell? You know, it's time to just get up and go from this situation. It's time to start taking care of yourself instead of everyone else. And first off is fixing within, okay, fixing your spiritual self whether it is you know doing yoga doing fitness um eating right eating healthy um changing your wardrobe as well will help you feel good even a haircut but this is gaining more control and getting that self confidence back into yourself yeah this energy has been around you all along it's deceitful it's cunning okay libra um, and I feel like it's not you. I feel like it's the other person as well. I'm also sensing that whatever justice is on your side here, okay? You could be seeing aspects of yourself because this energy has been around you for 
some time now. So this could be a shadow side. Um, you're facing your shadow side and you're, it's almost like you're want, wanting to run from it. Yeah, so you have grown to accept this part of your life here and it is um, fearful for you to leave this situation or to leave certain people behind. But in order to do that, um, you are facing your shadow side. This is healing your shadow side as well. You're intuitively taking action into um, manifestation, um, manifesting, manifesting your dreams so that you can let go of Yeah, it's like you're letting go of these energies, okay? But you really have to walk away from it. Yeah, you have to take action. You could be dealing with the King of Wands here. You know, or Pisces energy. Libra, I'm really seeing that, you know, you are taking action here. You are releasing these energies with the Five of Cups. It's really emotional energies here. You've been working so hard and trying to fix everyone else and instead you are needing to be fixed and i do feel like you will help yourself be fixed here um there could be a younger taurus capricorn a virgo energy around you that is helping you gain clarity and understanding i'm also seeing that libra Wow, so we had some cards that just jumped out, and I'm not going to use them. But I'll show you. We have, I guess I will use them. We have this, the lovers, which is um, a commitment, a union, coming together. This is twin flame energy, a possible partnership. We have love and wanting to start again, wanting to start new. Perhaps you have worked hard within this connection and found out there was a third party situation that had you know um you had competition you gained more clarity and understanding and it hurt you the most so you manifested with your powers okay that you hold within they've always been in you just didn't know this you're facing your shadow side way too much okay but something, I don't know what it was, something, it's like you planted that seed of intention and now it's growing. And whatever, whatever, open your heart, open your mind, open your intuition. And I feel like it wasn't your mind. I feel like you went within and used your intuition because you've already done this before. This person has already seeped this has already been around this person you were dealing with could have been a fire sign they were cheating on you um or you know they something you guys mirrored each other totally But not only with the mirroring, I am thinking like, wow, so feeling hopeless and helpless again. So this is, you can do this. You don't need anyone to set you free. You can set you free yourself within these challenging times. Speak your truth, okay? Detach from it. Find peace within yourself, plant your roots, and start growing, okay? And once you do that, you can start teaching. For some of you, you have to detach from this negative energy, okay? You have to release this energy, and that's what it's saying, release this energy, okay? And you think, no matter which way you go, it's going to be the same? No, it's not, okay? There is challenging times, so make sure that you have your guard up, okay? You know, this is a time for introspect, to go within, detach, find the peace within, let it go. And that's what it's saying, whenever you let it go, that is when you start to teach. Spirit guides, guardian angels. 
Now, if this is a lover happening, let's see, spirit guides. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For some of you, you could be going through a divorce here, or you could definitely be, um, yeah, going through a divorce. This is um, the hair font right here, feeling stuck within a marriage, needing to detach from it. Okay, we have reconciliation here, and we have, um, this could be the one, okay. So perhaps you guys need to work some kinks out within this situation, okay? And you need to take a break from it. Yes, we have retreat. Retreat from the situation, it will get better, okay? It will get better. I do feel like this is about a connection with your loved one. I feel like you have been feeling trapped. Now, for others of you, it's like this This could be closure or this could be someone else coming back into your life, okay? Someone from your past is returning to your life. Someone from your past. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type. And then we have, this can be the one. You're working hard to keep a certain marriage relationship at hand, okay? But it's just not working, okay? It's just not working out. There's challenging times here and you know it's not working out. And I feel like this person could come back and apologize to you and you feel feel so good about it but really deep down you don't want it because you already know that it's going to be chaos and conflict and you have so much okay either these are your friends your family members whatever but these people are here to help you this is you you are manifesting okay your next move and your next move is to detach from the situation from the challenging times to take action okay to serve you justice, to serve you with the karma that you deserve, and this is good karma. Spirit guides, guardian angels. Who is this King of Wands? Okay, so we have fast, cutting, um, the, it was a scythe that came out. Okay, so we have the scythe. So this is something that is going to be cut. Maybe the house is going, maybe you guys are going to be receiving some kind of money or this is, you know, um, dividing things. Um, whenever you go through a divorce, this is, um, and it is trauma. It is a burden. It hurts, you know, it's definitely painful, but this is truly what you want. Um, this is a certain message for someone. Uh, this commitment has to, there's two fives right here. There's change here, okay? Um, your ascended masters, um, ascended, ascended masters, um, your guardian angels. We have a three very profound in this reading as well. So there is, um, wanting to collaborate, wanting to work together. So I do feel like they want to work together with you. I feel like, um, you know, you will get something here. I don't know, something's gonna be cut. The house, the lights are, will be cut off or something just, yeah, I feel like maybe the lights are going to be cut off or something or, or the lights have been cut off. Um, Maybe there is this key, okay? For some of you, you could definitely be moving to a new place. What is this like? Yeah, for peace and quiet. For some of you, this is cutting the lights out. 
or others. It's like, I'm just gonna cut the lights out. I'm not entertaining these people anymore. They're a burden to me, okay? And not only that, it's like, for some of you, um, the lights could have been cut off because of this person and there's a child in the house, okay? And you can't be living right there like that. You gotta go somewhere else. So you could definitely be moving. So yeah, uh, this is a divine masculine here. This masculine could definitely be, um, you could be manifesting this divine masculine here. You could be talking to this divine masculine who is, um, who is grounded, okay? I'm seeing the key with the sun. They have a house. They have a house for you. You could be buying a house. Um, this is your goal. This could be someone that you work with as well who's helping you. Um, you could be getting a contract. You could be getting at least a lease. I don't know, but they, there is a couple of people looking at this house, and I feel like you're going to be the one to get it, okay, so that you can move away from all the drama because you're doing all the work and the bills never get paid in the house that you're staying at or something's happening here, Libra, where it's just not working out and you will, um, it's telling you to keep an open mind, okay, because the situation will definitely improve, okay, even though, now, you could be with it says this could be the one but perhaps you need to detach okay for a while so that you can let them see their shadow aspect of themselves so that you guys can reconcile okay let me pull you a card here Libra air element so that's definitely you all the way I love that energy Okay, it says, I embrace the element of air and am open to all knowledge and wisdom. So be open to all the knowledge, to all the wisdom. Don't be closed off, okay? I do feel like you're, you're getting out of a situation that involves you working all the time. And you basically know it. Um, I also feel like this person, whoever you're dealing with, they're showing your shadow aspect as well as their shadow aspect. You are mirroring each other. Could be twin flame energy, so to say. Um, there's a lot of romance feelings. This person brings you peace. You could be living in a house with a bunch of roommates, okay? And you're moving away from that. Um, spirit is also telling you that it's something really small, okay? It's not as big. This problem is not as big as what you think it is because you hold two queens here. You are, uh, you know, this queen of fire, passionate, loving, the social butterfly, very attractive. Everyone is magnetically attracted to you. And you have the sensual spirituality that you enhance and bring energies towards you, okay? Um, there's a sense that you need to speak your truth within this conflict, okay? Because with the five of wands here and the five of cups, there's some, there's five, 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 and that is change. You're going through a sense of change. And within this change, you're gaining more perspective, especially with the hair font here. The hair font brings in duality, okay, from spiritual and material. And it brings in truth, justice, and security. So with that being said, this little burden is definitely helping you see the bigger picture and helping you move beyond this cycle with the five of wands, you know, this conflict. See one, two, yeah, three fives here. We have reconciliation here. So you could be reconciliating with someone, okay? 
or somebody from your past. I feel like I feel like it's someone. Um, I feel like it's this divine masculine right here, or um, it could be a divine feminine as well if you are a divine masculine. Let's see. I'm gonna pull one more card here. Spirit guides, who is this divine masculine? Let's see, I'm going to use these cards. Okay, spirit guides, who is this divine masculine here? You know, this could be what people are talking about. It rumors, you know, about this person. They're saying not to listen to the rumors. This is somebody of high honor, someone who has um, high honor within the community, okay? Could be of service, military, Marines, Air Force, uh, Coast Guards. We have a mature woman who is definitely in the mix of making a decision, an honest decision to either listen to the community, okay? or stand around it, okay? Because these messages are coming through, it's not nothing to be concerned of because it's something little and it's something burdensome and it's something to distract you. And that's what you're not seeing, this distraction, okay? They're trying, it's trying to distract you from your true uh, calling here, okay? Um, and you will get through this situation, just what it's saying is to definitely, you are the calm within the storm, okay? Know that um, everything is working out in your favor. You are reconciliating with someone this month, Libra. I do feel like it is of someone that, you know, you never knew that you would come together with for some reason, um, but you, you're gaining more knowledge, okay? You could be talking to a counselor, you could be talking to someone of a higher, um, higher counsel, uh, someone, this is anything within the community, this is doing community work. Um, yeah, but with those cards that we had there, it was like, you know, within the, you could be talking to a mature woman, someone of high honor, someone of high class, a man here, okay, possibly a Taurus, but this person has, are, they are stable. Now, with the birds here, this is like people talking, it's burdensome, it's keeping you trapped, okay, but it's something really small, okay, like a child. This is a rebirth. This is something really small, and you will detach from this energy, and once you detach from that energy, doors are going to be opening and your goals are going to be reached because you are the mother bear here you are the bigger picture okay um yeah it's like you know how to guard yourself keep your guard up People around you are somewhat deceitful, but the light is being shined on them. You could be dealing with a fire sign, significant, um, yeah, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Okay, so the advice here is to make that decision, make that choice to step away from anything that is not, uh, yeah, even in your hair right here, it's like there's a ship. So it's like you've made a decision to take that mask off, to stop intriguing, to stop playing, you know, playing this role, playing someone that you're not, feeling trapped. You're moving on, you're, and you're not listening to the crowd. You know, you're paving your own way. That's what I'm saying for you, and that's what I have for you, Libra. Thank you.